So the Rotoon Ombat is a legendary light machine gun from the world of Outriders. Today we check out this beast and I give you guys my opinion on it. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. So the Rotoon Ombat is one of the most beastly looking weapons in this game. It is just amazing. So this beast of a weapon is an LMG rocking a mag size of 100 which is pretty big and not the biggest we see in LMGs but it fires at 500 rounds per minute. It also has decent accuracy and stability while aiming down sights, firing from the hip is all over the place. Now LMGs in this game for me are in reality a hit and miss. I personally haven't really fired one since the early stages of the game as I just feel assault rifles and double guns are just better. I will add that when I got my hands on this and used it for the first time though, I felt straight away this thing was on a different level. The mods are starting with its exclusive tier 3 mod, Kinetic Stump. Shots create a seismic shock around you dealing a ton of damage within a 5 meter radius with a 4 second cooldown. It also has Clip Roller, when when your magazine has 50% or less ammo you can roll to quickly reload your equipped weapons. This is a decent mod but I'd say only for weapons which have slow reloads. This for an LMG definitely does not, and because you can reload mid roll anyway, I feel it's definitely a wasted space here. And there are many many other tier 3 mods which you can place here which will make this weapon be much much better than it already is. And for the people that don't know about reloading mid-roll, if you reload and roll at the same time, it doesn't cancel your reload. Now, its kinetic stomp tier 3 mod is actually quite effective, especially within those areas of the game where you get overcrowded by enemies. It does do great things there. And what I found was when trying to concentrate damage on a boss where normally tons of small ads would prevent you by constantly hitting your screen and making you bounce all over the place and that flinch where you can't normally put down that constant flow of damage I feel this mod takes care of that problem in many many cases obviously in the higher higher end expeditions this seismic stump won't take care of all the problems but it's still definitely effective now the question is is this weapon worth using within my loadout on my current build I'd say right now no it isn't my build is built for that close range combat where I rarely use any other weapon besides a shotgun. Yes, I'm a trickster main here, you probably guessed. But what I will state is, this is a weapon I will keep and will be maxing out for sure. Normally, a weapon I don't plan on using, I will dismantle for that tier 3 mod, but personally, I feel this is actually the perfect weapon for its tier 3 mod. It goes toe in toe with the weapon, and like I said, the weapon will be even better with another mod applied to it. Now, there are many mods in this game which would benefit this weapon. A mod which applies vulnerable to adds would be absolutely incredible. Something that drops a little bit of extra damage would be incredible too. I mean, there are many things you can experiment with. So, my message to you would be if you get the Rowan Umber drop, do not dismantle it for this tier 3 mod, at least experiment with it first to see how it feels for you because I feel the Rowan Umber is a great great weapon and it will definitely be a weapon a part of my future builds for sure, if not on my trickster, definitely on my other classes. So yes guys, the Rowan Umber is a great weapon and a weapon I would recommend. Now if you've used this, let me know your opinion on it down below in that comment section. If you've already applied another mod to this, let me know what that mod is and let me know how it feels for you. But this to me is definitely one of the better LMGs in the game. I mean, I've got the repo, haven't used that yet, but I'm thinking it's going to be pretty good too. Guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.